Hey everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil. We are continuing to explore the lab. So after getting a little confused with the anatomy puzzle from the last time, I um, took a little peek in my personal crystal ball and looked into the future. I guess you know what that means. Well, I suspected that I was actually right in the anatomy puzzle, and I was. Uh, we did what we were supposed to do, I just didn't, you know, quite get that we actually were done. I guess it's a little, it's a bit about the conditioning of this game that has this weird effect on my mind about what makes sense, like what's sensible. Like I could totally, uh, let's take, take the, for example, these monitors. If they're just part of the background, they're not a uh, part of the puzzle from this game, but if they were, like say if one of them is, if they each represent a number, and the number uh, correlates to, the, say, the angle of some, uh, the angle of some mirror uh, from another part of the mansion, and I have to divert sunlight at a certain time of day through those mirrors at those angles to I don't know the, the heart of a statue and if I move the statue to the right place it's going to trigger a wall to slide open revealing a secret room and in the secret room I get I, I, it's just something like that when with something like that akin to what I just described despite all the ludicrousy of it I wouldn't bl bat an eye like that's just something I expect from Resident Evil now and so in the anatomy puzzle even though I did what was required of me with no secret room revealed itself when no cutscene followed like there was no grand revelation of some previously well-conceived secrets it just didn't register me that I was done. It's, it's a little kind of strange how the game can play with your mind like that. So once again, we are accessing with the login and password. Now this time we are opening the door on the basement, the second floor. That's going to require another password. And the password for this is the initial the initial letter of the four organs that we used for from our last puzzle if you remember those are colon and i think the the, the other one was called esophagus we got liver and we got lungs so that's c e l l cell which kind of fits Okay, cool. So I'm assuming that the door is open and we're gonna go check it out right now. From now on, it's completely blind again. I don't, I don't like having to, you know, look through walkthroughs or other people's playthroughs to figure out some puzzles. I'm not proud of doing that, but in order to advance, I may have to. So I really, if I have to li listen to instructions to, to, to proceed with the game, I really, really would rather hear from you guys. So if any of you are watching, and please give me some feedback. Oh, it's another mode disc. Uh, I'm gonna not take the health spray for now, just because we already have a health item with us, and we only we can only have one more item, a passcode entry terminal. Well, we don't know what to type in yet. A screen for use with a movie projector. 
shall we watch a movie? Shall we watch the Resident Evil live action movie? Security protocols. Level 1, heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Huh. Which one is which one is level one? Basement level one passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. That's lovely. Elevator, the elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level two, visual data room. I I think that's that's where we are. For use by the special research division only. Well, you're gonna have to make an exception for jail. Or other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keys Arvin Room Manager. Well, sorry, Keys. Basement Level 3, Prison. Sanitation Division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, or A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Oh, no. You're telling me Captain Wesker is with them? Surely such a thing is inconceivable. Triple lock door entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researcher's deactivated lock. Let me read that again. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researcher's deactivated lock. You know... I can read those words and know what each of them means. I have a hard time understanding what they mean on a collective basis, you know. What is the senior researchers section? Does that just mean like visual data room? Like are these are these the sections that uh, I, I'm just guessing that you need to solve a puzzle of some sort in each of the major sections of this game in order to, in order to unlock it. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consulted researchers with special authorization. So we need to get authorized. Well, good luck. Passcode output terminals. Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorize the senior researchers. So we need to trick the entire system of this lab to think we are some kind of senior researcher. Otherwise, we can't really go anywhere. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T-Virus, eligible hereafter. Ooh, a Tyrant. I wonder what that is. Is it going to be important? Videos are stored on the shelves. They're all security camera recordings. Some of them might have jail on it. Uh, take the shotgun shells. Yes, please. Now we don't have room for that. Is there a door here or something? No, but that's definitely a place you can go to. I think this is a door. It's just not registering as a door. Okay, let's check this out. The film has been set into place. Hey, we are watching a movie. Umbrella Bioorganic Weapon Official Report. Huh. So, th th does, does Umbrella actually openly develop biological weapons? Uh, MA-39 Cerberus. Those are the crazy dogs we've seen all over the place. FIO3 Neptune. Neptune is the shark. While well, the shark is dead, I'm happy to report. MA121 Hunter. You haven't seen them for a while. T002 Tyrant. Okay. Haven't seen that one yet. Bioorganic Weapons Research Group Development Staff. Hey, is that Albert Wesker at the right? Hmm. And we have a number. Let's remember this 8341706238. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take a photo with my phone here Just for future reference I think I'm too stupid to remember a nine digit number. That's like seven more numbers than I can remember Let's try that with the 
cold machine of some sort. I'm not sure this is how it's supposed to be worked. So, I'm not sh I don't know if this is even the right digits. Let's see, eight, three, four, one. Okay, no, that's not it. This is only, this is like a four digit number and I have no idea what it what it's supposed to be. Or maybe it's just the three digits. Uh, I have the wait. I have the slide filter with me. There are red colored slides inside, nothing's on it. The film has been set into place. What if we can we use this? Okay, the the picture has turned red. Oh, okay, that's pretty clever. Eight four six two. Remind me to delete the picture in my phone. I don't want people to ask awkward questions. Okay, I knew that wall would open. Um, I can't take any of this. Wait, maybe the slide filter... Oh yes, the slide filter is gone. That's good. Some sort of image editing equipment. Oh really? I use Adobe Premiere by the way. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. I have it with me? Well, yes. Get away from me! No! Hey! No! No! Oh no, Kenneth! What a tragic fate that has befallen such a lovely person that I completely don't know. So. No, I think once is enough. Let's grab this shiny stuff that's just beckoning to me. We'll take the laboratory key. Yes, I will. The audio-visual materials are filed neatly away. There doesn't seem to be anything important. So I'm guessing I'm done with this room, except I need I want to take the health spray thingy. So, lab key. Which room exactly are you used for? Electricity symbol is imprinted on it. Key for power area. Okay. Uh, so I guess there are two doors that can potentially open. That's wonderful news. I'm gonna go back to deposit my stuff. I'm going to I'm going to leave the herbs here and go back for the health spray. Um, the motors can stay here for the moment. I, I'm not sure what they're the rest are for. I heavily doubt that 
all three disc three discs are for the exact three locks um you know what maybe that's exactly what they're for but until i know for sure i'm just gonna leave them here i can always go back it's not too far away take the key with me obviously as for the shotgun shells i think we can just stay here for now with the shotgun where's my shotgun i just want to look at it for no reason there it is Yep, I think I'm moving. Actually, this still seems a little cumbersome, doesn't it? But you know what? I'll just be safe. I know this will take me multiple trips back and forth just to transport stuff. But I feel safe for doing it, and feeling safe is kind of a luxury. Telling me there's still secrets in this room. Whatever can it be? I really feel like I've done everything. Unless Kenneth's film has some function that I don't know about. We'll see. Maybe we'll find some kind of film and I have to come back get get it back here to view in the future. Maybe it's not really for now. Part of the desk is covering what appears to be some kind of acid. Like what is that supposed to be hinting for me? Are there any like xenomorphs crawling around the air ducts? That'll be actually that'll be pretty cool. Now let's see if the oh okay. It does work. Yeah, power key. We're opening doors, but with power. See, I hate hearing this. I don't even get to see the monster, and I'm not aiming at it, so I don't even know what it is. Whoa. Get down there. Let me figure it out. It's a relatively small room. Oh, I can do that. Oh, shit. I'm not feeling very safe. I crawled through the. Am I hitting anything? What the heck? Oh god, what the shit is that? That looks like Jeff Goldblum from The Fly. See ya, Jeff Goldblum. Whoa. More? He got me. Please let that be the last one.
Where the hell am I? I'm in the side room. Sure, uh, how, how'd I get here? Various precision instruments used in surgery? Well, we can use some of them as weapons. The operating table is covered in blood. This blood doesn't look like it came from the surgery, though. H how can you tell? Well, it could be that we have just uh, defeated the patients. As fucked up as that sounds. The operating table is covered. Oh, okay, we already read this. What do we have here? Hmm. What exactly is the purpose of me getting here anyway? I think maybe I can go through this door. It's rusted shut and won't budge. So really, there's nothing here ex to do except to go back. Wait, there's another. There's another air duct to wherever there's this. And I hope. I don't see any more enemies. The shelf is full of various, uh, sorry, what? Antitoxins. Cool. Battery pack. Nice. The security system passcode the transmission device. If you had a mode disk, you could transmit a password to the system. Oh, okay, we do. Where am I right now? Oh, so we do need more mode disks. That's. Actually, with the modex as a four. Got it. I almost don't want to examine these. Oh, cool. Anything else in this room? body bag lies you know, on the simple bed. The date indicated on the bag is quite old. So there's no chance of it coming back to life, right? Because it's old. It died of natural causes. Shut up. Okay. I guess I'm going back for the mode disc. Also picking up the herbs because I was injured. Wait a goddamn second. So we have finally done it, you know. We have, uh, well, I have finally done it. I plan to play both Resident Evil and uh, RE2 Remake in anticipation for the release of RE3 and as of today RE3 is already out and I haven't even still finished the first one but I'm really sorry about that but the plan st stays the same I'm going to replay RE2 again before getting number 3 I didn't pre-order it so I'm just gonna have to get out there and buy it let's see And RE3, from what I can tell, is getting mixed to positive reviews. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of people complaining that it's too short. I guess that's why it is actually two games. Kind of like two games in, in one. It, it doesn't have the... Jill, Chris side, double sided story like this one, or the Chris Claire. Uh, sorry, not Chris. Uh, the Leon Claire scenarios from the second one. It's just the uh, Jill Valentine's story, her own struggle against the uh, 
pretty much against the entire Raccoon City and of course Nemesis. about this okay we got we suddenly got a lot more shotgun shells oh no we're going there That's two locks out of three. Transmitting the password seems to have a lock to something. Yeah, I would call that something. It's weird that I have to do this every time. This room is going to be any different. There's no further use of the key. Yes, one more inventory space. Should have done it the last time. Okay, this opens things up a little bit. I believe that is we already be in that room and it's already thoroughly explored. What is that? What is the noise? I hate it. Stop it. How about we explore the, the rest of the less scary doors? Like this one. Like it looks like a normal door. It's not that threatening. It's not that imposing. And it's a safe room. It's a safe room. And a safe room. And it's a room where you get free first aid sprays and other stuff oh this is a blessing I, I have even more shotgun shells what the hell is going on I suddenly have so much stuff this is the first time in the playthrough of this entire game or should I say the entire playthrough of this game where I actually feel like I have an excessive amount of objects with me uh, I should, probably shouldn't have said that out loud now uh, given that situation I'm just going to take, finally take the shotgun out where is it? there you are and where are the rest of the shotgun shells? Cool. Shall we save our game? I can't hurt. I mean, we get like 13 ink ribbons? That's crazy. Okay, saving the game. I have saved the game for the 27th time. That's probably a lot with this game, isn't it? You know, I've com I've complained about limited saving, but it seems I have more uh, more than enough. At least on this difficulty, I'm assuming they are uh, a lot rarer and higher difficulties. But, I'm just gonna assume that. Oh, these are grenade launchers. 
I think I'll stick with acid for now and I'll deposit the nade shells. See if I, I have any in existence. I do. Right. Okay, this is a very blessing room. Chairs and the supplies lie scattered about. The walls are covered with dozens of claw marks. Oh shit. What does that mean? Okay, time to step out of the comfort zone and adventure on. Why can't they all be safe rooms? The elevator isn't working. It looks like you'll have to operate the switch on the right hand side. Here? It appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. It doesn't seem to be getting any power. Hmm. Okay, that place is still dead. Let's try this one. Hearing monsters. Probably those fly thingies. Oh, I see one. Oh! Get out. Good job, Jill. Over. You know what? I'll just, uh, if you don't mind, I'll just make them die a little bit faster. But I don't know where they are. It's time I take stock in this room, by the way. Whew. I get it or not? Yep, I did. But it sounds like there's still more. That'd be crazy. Shit! I hate being right all the damn time. So, am I supposed to be doing something about all the steam? Fire is blazing steadily. Could this be some kind of furnace? Well, I hope so. If it's not a furnace, it's malfunctioning and then it's probably gonna blow. Oh, what do we have here? Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. This is the same thing as the, the, the other device. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. Oh. Sure I'll take it. I know I know where to retrieve the fuel by the way. And uh, it's empty. Yeah, I, I realize it's empty. I was kind of hoping for a more elaborate description. Like user beware or something like that. <sighs> but I guess I'll settle for don't shake it or jar it. One more door. You fucking kidding me? Why aren't these things in the file, by the way? Like, who made them? Okay, if you don't do that. I'm gonna run out of 
acid shells, and I really love my acid shells. Security system passcode. Okay, I need to go back for another mo disk. Oh, shit! The crying shame. Get off me! I hate when they team up. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of AC shells. This is bad. But I think I'm rid of all of them. Nope. I still there's at least one more. And this room for I can still go even further. How freaking big is this place anyway? Okay, apparently shotgun also does the trick. If you aim it right, that is. Okay, let's let's just go on. Uh, I'm trying to remember where everything is, which is kind of difficult for me. Oh my god. Just sounds like trouble, doesn't it? Wow, that was like point blank, bitches! That thing is alive. I can go somewhere. Okay. You see that? What? I I'm going. There's no power on the main elevator. If there's no power, it's not gonna start it up, right? It appears to need some kind of fuel to get started. It's just great. I don't know if I'm ever gonna run out of those guys. I may have wasted enough ammo as it is. Wait, is there something on the floor? Oh, it's one of these battery packs. Great. And I'm here. Get me out, please, map. I probably shouldn't have wasted all that ammo tangling with those fly things. That's a really bad mistake in retrospect. I almost want to reload the last save just so I can do this part more efficiently. But you know what? We're going to stick to it. Mistakes and all. Pass on what you have learned. That's what Yoda said. And failure also. Hey, I listen to Yoda, okay? Things are not looking cool. But I do have two of these things with me just so just in case things go really bad. I think that's kind of excessive. Incendiary cells. Come on. I'll leave one back home. We are unfortunately pretty much
basically out of this again, which is really bad. gonna have to take the handgun out again for no other reason than that it has ammo you know is this too excessive you know what we're gonna use the modus pretty fast so that's gonna clear out one space and we'll be doing this thing later on so it if it looks a little bit over cumbered it's not gonna last knew this door was up to no good. Now was the thing. There it is. Well, this go. After that, I'm getting the hell out of here. Right, all three locks. And we're clear. We're not going back there to kill the remaining bug guys. Those things can. I. I w they have my blessing to go on with their lives. Whatever that means. And I don't think we can get in here. But we don't need to. I just want to try the door. I kind of like to turn all the all the doors on the map, all the door signs on the map green if it's possible. Now, where is this other thing that... I don't quite remember where the... Where the power... Where the fuel is. We have... The thing for the fuel. Alright, we do have to go back there just to... Ah, shit. Use that. No, I don't want to deal with those guys. Where are they again? Uh, well, if they're not here, they're probably beside the anatomy room. Oh, I imagine if it, anybody's watching this, they're probably screaming at the screens. Yeah, I know, it's, it can get frustrating. Me and puzzles, we don't get along. Shit. Hey, be reasonable. I got a fuel supply capsule that is not empty. The main ingredient of this fuel seems to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Oh, are you shitting me? I can't run? Um... O U T out of here. Okay. I I can't run. I'm just gonna gently go back to that place and deposit the fuel. And hopefully it doesn't run uh hopefully it doesn't blow up. This is uh a little bit tense, you know. 
would be nice if somebody can tell Joe a joke here. Well, the 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 poison is still another well, poison. The fuel is still stable. Somebody's boobs are jiggling. Doesn't take too much shaking, I see. This is a pretty good field test for the shakiness of uh, various items. You don't get to do these tests every day. Oh, this is torture. Get me to that place already. Turns out we still gotta go back to deal with this, those fly things. And without running, there's really no other way to bypass them. Nope. Oh, shit. Don't run. No, it's kind of hard with the PS4 controller. Uh, you gotta really just gently nudge it on, on a way for her not to break into a run. It's really easy for her to run here. Don't. Can we just coexist? Hey! Oh, you son of a bitch. Wait, where's the thing? Um... I'm supposed to deposit this somewhere. Is it here? Well, I got a few. I'll just pour it all over the machine, I guess. The lab's self-destruct mechanism is huge. Oh, we don't want to do that. Not yet. I really thought it was in this room. Was that wrong? Apparently. So I have pretty much already forgot where everything is. This is how bad I am with locations. Which is really a big problem when it comes to Resident Evil games.
Aha, there it is. Come on now. Yes, set it in. Turn it up. Turn everything up. Can I run now, please? Pretty please? Oh, good. Right, or item management. Let's take some herbs with us. Do we have in terms of weaponry? Now I need more ammo. There's never enough ammo. I'm kind of using them a little bit too much, I realize that. Uh, take the magnum runs. Right. So we have two places we can go, I suppose. One is at the labor at the left of the map. Wait, what is the other? What is the place north of here again? Do you have power now? Doesn't seem to be getting any power. So the fuel thing did not fix this problem. I think I'm gonna go see that elevator thingy. Or maybe I should go to the left side of the hole. I don't know, let's just go to the closer one. Maybe I should go back and save the game? I know it's kind of excessive to be saving the game so soon, but I... I have 12 of those ribbons, baby! I... I, I'm getting the vibes that I won't be needing to save 12 more times in this game. Well, as usual, I'm just gonna roll with it and see if I regret it. I usually do. Are you working? There's no power to it. Oh, something's happening. It's getting plenty of power. Uh okay. Shall we self-destruct? Oh, I think we just did the uh, give power to the to the elevator. Wow, isn't this just the oh, whole big detour? But the, the the good thing about all this is, as I come to regret some of the decisions that I've made throughout this playthrough. Uh, I've come to, there are often times when I come to realize that my previous regret was not necessary. Like, I don't really regret dealing all those bullets to those bug things anymore, because it seems, given the amount of time that we have to go through this place, it seems inevitable. And killing them pronto is probably better overall. It appears to be the control. Press the switch. Give me power! The elevator is working. Jill! Barry! You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. Go where? Can 
But I still have a room I didn't explore. Can I go back up? I kind of want to go do, do the... I, I had... I, it took me so long to unlock the door to the other one. If Barry's here, that probably means that this is the main story point. You know what? I'm going back. Let me go back. Barry, you stay down here. Okay, my... <laughs> Barry really did stay down here. Well, such to be you, Barry. Payback time. You left me alone to deal with that thing the last time. So suck it up. I, I, I'm not gonna just ignore the that other room there because it, it took me such a long time to get it open And I can't really believe that Resident Evil of all games and Resident Evil 1 of all Resident Evil games would leave something this major completely useless it's locked if you can just get those levers on the side to work should open well I think they should be able to open okay so that's how we're gonna play I don't know what's inside this, but I seriously doubt it's going to be disposable. Okay, th there's actually more space than I thought. Hell, I'm, I'm guessing if I had stayed with Barry, we're gonna be meeting some kind of obstacle that needs some item. That I can only get from this room to... Chris? Jill? Chris! You're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh. Come you on, master of, master of key locking. Wait, game. I'll be back to get you out. Okay, no sightseeing, though. Wow. Hey, guys, it's Chris. Locked. Mm. Okay, so that's what's in here. Wow, that's interesting. How do I get him out? <laughs> this is. I did not expect this. Wow. Okay, so if we're seeing Chris. It's really gonna be the end game. And I'm really gonna use another ink ribbon. What would have happened if I had gone with Barry without checking that room? It seems like you can compl you can totally go through the game without getting to Chris. I really don't know. I'm just gonna take a lot of firepower with me. There's gonna be any item that I can 
get except maybe the key to Chris's door. no point in doing this but I just kind of want to all set let's go kick some ass you hear that I think Jill just kicked the door open like it's ready she's ready for action Still down there thinking about his life. Can I talk to him? Nope. Nothing to talk about. At least I got a companion. At least he's moving with me now. He's not like, you go on ahead. I'm going to stay with this elevator and talk to it. It's not a habit. Have to check every corner. Now, this door looks just so inviting. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. That's the tyrant. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by any of this. It's magnificent. So For the sake love. of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Damn. Barry. You know, you could have done that a long time ago. Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Why do they always either have a beating heart on the outside or a giant eye? It's always a weakness. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. <laughs> okay. 
Aw, oh, man. No, Barry! You viral cultured freak! <laughs> I don't think he, he appreciates that. Joe, that was not nice. Oh my god. He gotta fucking go, man. Oh, it's down. A panel used to release the emergency electric electronic lock. Release the lock? Yes, please. Which lock has been released? The thing is not dead, by the way. No freaking way. What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Okay, observation note. The discovery of the G virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenitor virus. The prototype parasite which we have delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create a G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breathtaking, the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin. Is there something a machine used to compile experimental data? Well, William Birkin, if, if you're in the know, you would realize that is someone very important in Resident Evil 2. The capsules contain a number of creatures too hideous to describe. Who could possibly be capable of creating such monst monstrosities? Barry! Barry! <sighs> that was too close, Barry. You were almost a sandwich. Uh, you're okay. <sighs> Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, of course let's just is. get out of here. <sighs> no, none that the thing is not dead. Wait, the door we released, was that for Chris? So we are actually allowed to get out of here. That's unexpected. I thought we, we really have to deal with the pirate force and everything. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. Oh, that's no good. Barry's families are fine, by the way. Moira was in Resident Evil, uh, what was it? Revelations 2. Uh, I'm getting Chris. Where, where's Barry going, by the way? It's not giving me a timer, so I'm assuming. Oh, sh shit. Wow, that's just lovely. I was just saying it's not giving me a timer, so I'm assuming I have infinite time. By the way, if that door is open, I'm sure he's gotten out himself. He's not just in there waiting for me, is he? I mean, that, that would be kind of cute of him, but also a little alarming. The lock is released.
Chris. What the hell are you doing? Jill. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Can you blast a few bugs on the way out, by the way? Wait, there, there's actually still something in that room? Since there's no timer, I'm going back to check it out. We can actually still go back to the room. This is like magical. What could be in this room that that will be useful to us at this point? Are you shitting me? <laughs> Are you fucking shitting me, Chris? You've been locked in here with a pack of shotgun ammo? Chris, I love you, buddy, but I can't say I'm not, I'm not a little disappointed. The bed is covered in filth. Jesus, Chris, what is what is happening to this guy? A dried up co commode. Like he doesn't, he doesn't get out of the door when it's just the, ready to open. He's in here with a box of ammo. Doesn't do anything with it. I mean, I know he doesn't have a shotgun. But there are multiple ways you can manipulate the uh, ammo for a start professional that's... I expected more from him, but wh whatever. Uh, we'll do a performance analysis later. Uh, what really happened between Resi 1 and 3 anyway? Why, why is Jill stuck here but Chris is not? Oh no, he's leaving me again. Man. Okay, I'm going to the elevator. I'm gonna ignore these bugs to my best ability. Because I know I will. I, that, that tyrant is not dead. No freaking way. I'm gonna need. Can I save again? Because this is probably going to be the last time I'm saving again. Screw it, why not? I have more encryptors than I ever need. I never thought I'd say that. So in the spirit of YOLO, well not really YOLO, in the spirit that this is going to be the final fight, I'm going to take two mixed herbs instead of bring the extra two shot two ammo for the shotgun. Actually, you know what, maybe I'll bring the extra ammo for the shotgun but not a handgun. I seriously doubt they are going to be making that much of a difference anyway. Oh wait, you know what? I don't have any more ammo for the for this, so there's really no sense in bringing it. So I've been an idiot. Oh, as per fucking usual. I am very thankful for the fact that there's no timer. I don't do well under timers. <sighs> Both Barry and Chris have left without me. I get. I guess I just answered my own question. I was like, "Why is Jill stuck in Raccoon City in Resi 3, but not Chris and everybody else?" Well, that's because they just abandoned her at the first notice of trouble, every goddamn time. Am I going the right way? Cause I cannot go the wrong way right now. So 
Someone started it up. Wait a second. This is not where I'm supposed to be going. Huh. I already thought something was going to happen here. In that case, where am I supposed to be going right now? Like, where did they go? Did they go back uh, upside of the mansion? I guess that's a possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what bullshit they put in front of Jill at this point. Crazy thing is, I can save again. I can save here and not bat an eye. That's how much increment I got. Not to brag. Come on, come on, hurry! I thought we were actually trying to disable the auto destruct and everything. You took out anything interesting to say? Whoa. I didn't know we had this much stuff. Okay. Uh, I really don't have space for these, but thanks for the offer. Are you gonna give him a sign? Hey, can you two pick up those? Never mind. The elevator is in the receiving power. The fuse unit is missing. Better get the power back. Are you freaking kidding me? Is this it? more items okay I'm going back to the chest this is ridiculous by the way why can't I just ask a, either Barry or Chris to pick it up <laughs> instead I have to go clear out my own inventory Jill is doing all the work. There's no need to go back. Well, there is. As it so happens. Have you not been... Wait, I can also... Where does this lead to? Oh. This is what where I was trying to get to anyway. Uh, whatever, let's just clear one space and get back up. I apologize for the repetitiveness of the broadcast, by the way, if that's bothering you anyway. It's not really bothering me, but because I'm like totally into this right now.
I don't know if it's annoying you. If it is, I apologize. The only thing I can do about it is to get the elevator started and try to end everything. Why would it be here? Take the fuse unit. Check it out. It's an assembly of many large fuses. It's rated for high currents of electricity. Why would anyone take the fuse unit out? Three minutes to detonation. Shit. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just hit in contact with Brad! No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. That's bullshit. Chris. Would you let me have my moments too? Alright. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. No, Jill, I want you to go back and take the health pack. Shit. Curses! I have been thwarted by the plot! Well, it seems a little unfair that it's taking down while I'm in the elevator. I mean, if this was Mass Effect or Portal elevator, I'd be dead before I even get to play. What is this? Take this. Signal rockets? Baby. Say no more. Can I just call Brad, like, right away? Oh, that's actually how we use it. We just use it. Hmm? Jill! You made it! Oh, so did someone else, I see. Take him down together! Uh, Barry will take him down to get... I'm just gonna... Oh, never mind. Hey! Over here! Well, this is a little off. Shit. Jill, this is why I want you, you to go back for the health pick. Good job, Barry. I'm proud of you, kinda. Actually, you have been pretty disappointing throughout this. Oh! In the ass. In the dick. Not that you have one. Oh, shit! Barry, I'm gonna need a little bit of support here, okay? Zero zero two tyrant. I thought you already knew that. It's tra it was homing in on me. I had no chance. What the shit? Well, good thing is I got rocket launcher. Well, that's how every Resident Evil game ends, right? With rocket launcher. Oh no. Knock it. Yeah. Well, that was pretty badass with Jill down on her last feet and everything. Alpha Team's finest. Heck yeah. I'm a member of STARS. What? Well, good to see you again, Brad. You got anything you want to explain? Bye bye, Arkley Mansion. See you next.
That was Resident Evil. Fucking awesome. This has been an incredible experience. If you watched me, if you watched this thus far, thank you so much for taking on this journey with me. I wasn't actually sure whether I wanted to go through with this at the beginning. I mean, I kind of had some worries uh, before I actually started the plane that it's gonna be uh, the mechanics maybe a too too dated. Oh, that's the Chris scenario, by the way, with Rebecca Chambers. I was worried about the mechanics. I was worried that it's going to be a little bit archaic for just for my personal taste. Not only that, I'm, I sometimes with the games that are a little older, I find that it's a little hard for me to totally get what's going either what's going on or how to get through them. And I have and I have encountered some of those problems in this game. I have been stuck by some of the puzzles, but I don't think it has too much to do with the so-called datedness of it. I didn't find it dated at all, actually. Uh, this, this this has been a really wonderful experience for me, and the only the only thing I may not be completely satisfied with the game is its depiction of characters. And some, sometimes the characters don't really make all that much sense. Like uh, as Jill Valentine, we have unearthed so much information by reading all the notebooks and uh, other stuff. But in the end, it's like she still doesn't have a clue of what's going on. Like she's, we saw Albert Wesker's name in the, uh, in one of the files, but she's. Jill, you did a fine job. Oh, I'm sure I did. Wait a second, it's not really suggesting that I spent 30 hours into this game, did it? Did I? It does. This game should not take that long to play. I don't know. Maybe it did. Um. I'm really satisfied with the balance of this game. This is a pure, essential survival horror experience. Uh, in the end, I think I, because I was playing on a normal difficulty, I, that may have been a little bit too kind on myself. And in the end, I assembled more stuff than I knew what to do with. But you know, you saw how it went down. I did have a lot more increments than I needed to. There were a few instances, I think that contributes to the bloated playtime is that sometimes I would just simply refuse to save the game because I never knew how many more increments I would be able to get I was saving them I was I was like saving game every hour or so and sometimes I die uh, and and I have to play through a lot a large portion of the game just to play some catch up and you wouldn't know that because I don't keep that in any of the edited uh, episodes but they do happen from uh, particularly I think during the first half of the playthrough because that was when I was still trying to get a hang of it. Uh, sometimes it takes me uh, some time to get into the vibes of the game and after that it's like automatic. I used the 29 ink ribbons. Let's see this. I uh, dispatched the 109 creatures. I don't know if that's a lot or not not. I, I just have very little concept with the statistical side of this game. I used the 432 rounds of ammo and I used the 31 health items. That seems about right. So to me that's pretty much one health item per hour. You know, I can't say I'm dissatisfied with it. Okay, so this has been Resident Evil. Uh, I look forward to seeing Jill again in Resident Evil 3 Remake. She looks a little different. I'm, I look forward to her having a real personality. Uh, but the I, I, the thing about the first game, I love the atmosphere and love the, I even I even love the camera angle, even though it frustrate, frustrates me sometimes. It's just when it sometimes sometimes when the camera cuts away, the control gets a little weird. Those are the only times uh, I'm a little get a little bit mad with it. But overall, I love the stuck uh, the fix the camera angles. I think those are really first of all they are really good camera angles. Um, but they, they do add to the tension of the game a lot. 
and the actual wise I I love all the weapons that I got I, and I think the game took me to various places oh by the way Lisa Trevor we never really got a final showdown with her but she must have died during the explosion of the mansion which is nice because like she deserves a rest I'm quite amazed by how diverse the landscape of this game is because I the thing I knew about Resi 1 before I went into this is that it's about the mansion, the, the Spencer mansion. I knew that, everyone knew that. And I really thought this was just going to be that mansion. And and it is, it is, but there's the courtyard. Uh, there, there's the residence, the little cabin in the woods. There's the whole tunnel section, there's the whole lab section. So it's really diverse. It, it never really feels like we're trapped in one house and that was one gigantic motherfucking house. I'm so very impressed by this and I think that's it for this game. I have a closet key. Uh, okay, I unlocked the I can change the dressing room. So what what costume did I unlock? Oh, I can save the game one more time. That's lovely. Cleared data. So I, I suppose if I continue from this save slot, it'll be New Game Plus. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, the title screen has changed a little bit. And I get a gallery. Whoa. Alpha team is flying. Okay, these are just the uh, cutscenes. Ending for Jill 1. Everything else is still locked. Whoa. This game is huge. Once again. Well, that was it for Resident Evil. I am just elated to have done this game. And, and thank you so much for watching it. I will see you in my next playthrough, which is going to be Resident Evil 2 Remake with uh, the Claire A and the Leon B scenario. I'll see you then.